Guess who is bank? Did a full one eighty crazy thinking about the way I was at the Today we got What's up guys? It's been so freaking long. I know. So quick little update. So clearly you see that I have not been posting on YouTube for like quite a while because my lens was broken. I don't know how, but I went to Miami for like a week or so and I brought my camera and I was like vlogging and stuff and like I was gonna edit that to put into a YouTube video and I noticed like while I imported it literally most of the images were like blurry and like distorted it was like pixelated I didn't want to upload that I didn't want to carry my camera everywhere because I was just like scared that I was gonna be like forgetful since like there's most people that shoot on their phones and since I have like the 11 Pro I was like you know what like let me just try to record it on my phone because the quality is nice right wrong it literally distorted every video possible that I had on there and like literally it just looked so trash so I just didn't upload it I just like I just can't like I was so upset and then like when I got back I was trying to shoot an outro I noticed I was like yo I was like, why is it like not focusing on my face? I was like, whatever, it's probably just like the lens or something. I was like, I'll probably fix it later, right? Wrong again. That's when I found out that <laughs> my poor lens was broken, yo. It wasn't like broken like where the lens was just like shattered or nothing. Like it was just like not focusing at all. It's okay. We here now. Since like I knew I was getting my lens yesterday, I have asked people what they wanted to see. I've noticed that I've gotten literally like so many DMs. As of recently, I started posting my tarot card um, spreads and like my cards, my readings, spiritual stuff on my story. And everybody's been asking me, do you do readings? Do you do readings on other people? Do you do readings on yourself? Like, how do you read your card? I didn't think people actually cared about this stuff. Like, I didn't think people actually watched my stories to begin with. That was like, well. Today's um, video is going to be all about my spiritual cards, tarot cards, oracle cards, um, literally everything and like the cards that I do have. These are my cards dick. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, like I showed you, these are all of my reading cards, my spiritual cards, tarot, oracle. First things first is picking out your card and your deck. So this is my tarot deck. For one, when I started my spiritual journey, I did incorporate tarot um, into my spiritual journey yet. Cause like one, I just had this mindset that I had to be like an advanced tarot reader. I had to like study it. I had to be like psychic for it. Wrong, all of those things are wrong. There's people that say like, you can't do readings on yourself, which is also wrong. And that you have to be advanced to do readings wrong anybody could do readings you could do readings on anyone you can do readings on yourself like literally you can do it like you don't have to be advanced you don't have to go to school for it you don't have to have a certificate for it it's literally all with your intuition but yeah you don't have to be any of those things to read or have a tarot deck when you first walk into a spiritual shop and like you're wanting to buy your first tarot deck you pick the one that is most drawn to you like you like the graphics of it the pictures the colors or even the message behind it like when you read like the message behind here there's all different types of tarot decks there's tarot decks like this with like beautiful images there's ones that like are very minimalistic ones that are like indie like there's just a lot, like a lot of different types of tarot decks. And there's also like the original, original deck, which like I'll pop up here on the screen. Literally all tarot decks are used the same way, no matter the picture, no matter if the names are different, like, you don't have to get original um, tarot deck, but you know, some people prefer that and some people prefer like having their own kinds of tarot decks. Like it's all up to your preference. It's all up to your preference. After you pick your card, you're supposed to cleanse it, which you are. 
You can cleanse it with either a clear quartz crystal, selenite. You could use like an incense, a sage incense. And you can cleanse it with um, Florida water. Take a little bit of it and just like smudge it with like the incense sticks or um, the sage stick. And you can just like run it through the sides of it. Just make sure you don't burn it. Like run it on top of it. Run the smoke all over it. I'll show you guys what the sage looks like. My sage is like almost done, but so you just hold it up and then you just like cleanse it and just picture all of the energies prior to you picking up this card or you purchasing this deck of cards. You just cleanse it of all energies that were previously used before any sorts of like energy. You want to make sure when like when you're cleansing your deck of cards you're actually cleansing the actual deck and not the box that it comes with. So once you cleanse it with whatever cleansing preference you would use, I would normally use the sage and just run the smoke through it. Once you do that, before you even pick out your cards or do your spreads or any of that, you wanna just hold your deck of cards in the palm of your hand, place your other hand on top of it, whichever hand you prefer. You just want to ground yourself first. You can ground yourself by deep breathing or meditating or just sitting with your deck of cards and just... Just breathe with your deck of cards and just be in sync with your cards. Let your energy flow into those deck of cards. Once you ground yourself first, you want to set an intention. You want to ask your deck of cards or your spirit guides a question. So for example, like every morning, I would do a spread, like a daily intention spread. Or I would just ask a question like when I'm in a situation or when I need guidance. And I will shuffle cards in my hands and just ask, you know, what do I need to know for today? What is coming my way? Or like... The three questions that I ask is, what do I need to know today? What do I need to do today? And what do I need to avoid today? Or what do I need to release today? And then you will lay your cards from left to right. And then you will flip it over each card. And what I like to do is I like to keep a notebook. This is my, my card reading um, notebook. So each time that I do spreads with my cards, whether it's my oracle cards or my tarot cards, I write it down. So like, so like I will do, like I, for example, my first, my first reading was, my first spread reading was the dreamer spread, which was the first um, spread that showed up in this booklet um, tarot card came with. So then I would literally just write the question and the card that, associated with that uh, question so I'll flip it over let's say what resides in my present vibration and the card I'll flip over the card and the card will be like six of something and then you will interpret that card you will look at the image you could look at the image first and then like try to interpret it from that that card what is that picture saying like what do you feel when you're looking at this card so I yeah, just keeping a notebook handy with you while doing any kind of reading like whether it's your oracle reading or your tarot card readings it's helpful so you can look back and just dissect whatever the spread was telling you and you can just dive deeper into the meaning into the deeper meanings of this card because some people get very frustrated when like they do their spreads or like when they pick a card and they'll be like that doesn't reside with me like this means nothing to me like i don't know what they're telling me each card that you pick out comes out for a reason you just have to dig deeper on what the meaning is and sometimes you may get the same card twice three times because you may have work to do in that area or you're probably avoiding it or it's just something that you really need to know you need to work on and if you do get the same card like let's say all the time and Maybe you just need to shuffle a different way or you need to reset your cards. You would have to put like your major arcana cards first and then your minor arcanas and just like organize it that way and then just reshuffle it like like when you first get the freshly new deck of cards like how they came with. So after 
you would just want to like write it down and just look into this booklet because each not all but sometimes each tarot uh, deck of cards comes with like a little booklet and this is just like um the card meanings and how an introduction of how to use the cards sometimes each booklet will come with like spreads and like it'll literally teach you how to use the cards and then once once like you get past like the introductory they co it goes into the card meanings it goes to the major arcana which will show like the suit of earth suit of air suit of fire suit of water that's in terms of my cards the other tarot cards are um wands cups swords and pentacles so the difference between major arcana and minor arcana I know you're probably like, oh, what? This is like a lot of information. I know. Major Arcanas are like, relate more to the like major events in your life or pivoting events in your life. So it's literally just like the bigger picture of everything. And then minor Arcanas go very into details of like the specific, um, the specifics literally. They go very into details with the specifics. And while the major Arcanas is just the big, picture the overall theme I guess I would say each tarot deck has the same um, structure like I said earlier each tarot deck works the same way whether it has a different picture it has the different words different title like I have the suit of air suit of fire suit of water suit of earth So there's different ways of shuffling cards. There's not really a right way to shuffle it. You can just have all your cards on your table and then just move it around like that. And then there's the casino shuffle, which is like how most tarot readers, you know, read their, well, shuffle their cards, which is like, you know, like that. And then you could just do it like the normal way, which is like the casino way kind of. And just you know there's different types of spreads I suggest um looking at spreads in books like there's a lots and lots of tons of books on tarot spreads there's lots of apps with tarot spreads there's lots of information online also lots of experts say that you should look at tarot spreads and tarot information in books rather than the internet because there's a lot of false information on tarot on the internet which can which can confuse people and just make it seem like they're not doing things right or you know they just misjudge the whole process so it's just good to like look at books and look at spreads and information on books there are there are really good sites online and i'll probably put them down in the description box there's very good information on tarot decks tarot cards if you pick out a tarot card and like you flip it over and like in the top corner or the top and the bottom corner it'll have like the symbol the number right um and it doesn't show up on this book you can look it up online and then it will literally tell you the deeper meaning of what it is and like what it means if it's reversed and we're gonna get into that I'm, I'm still learning. I'm definitely not an expert. I literally recently just started incorporating tarot into um, my spiritual journey literally the end of last year. I found it like it definitely did a big difference in my routine. Um, it helped me a lot of getting more inside of myself, inside of my day. It just helped me through certain situations. But yeah, I'm definitely still learning and I'm like... You know, I might get things wrong, I might, you know, mess up or I might say the wrong thing, but the girl's still learning like everybody else. Even the most professional experts are still learning themselves. I literally suck at explaining things, I'm so sorry. I get nervous. <laughs> I 
so reversals so some people say that when you get a card right side up which is the right side and you read the meaning of that card it automatically means that exact meaning right but if you got a reversal which is it shows up upside down right some people say it's the opposite of that meaning or some say like not the opposite of that meaning it could either mean the opposite which is not entirely true or it means that you have a lot to a lot of work to do in that area you have to pay attention to that specific card and that what that card is trying to tell you so i went online to get like further and more insight i'll put like the website below there's like four different ways you can interpret um reverse cards reversals if an upright card comes in you can interpret it as energy coming in and if it's reverse is an energy coming out or energy receding sticky spots having like trouble in those type of areas and um or challenging aspects and there's like things to keep in mind when like looking at reverse cards and they give you like a lot of information reversals often act to clarify the situation at hand for example if you're doing a reading for self-improvement consider interpreting reversals as places you need to work on or traits you need to encourage like i've mentioned before so if like let's say you're doing a three card spread one two three and one or two cards or all three cards happen to be reversed that's telling you you need to work work in those areas you need you're having troubles in those areas or you're very weak in those areas you know if you see something that you relate to then that that's your calling that's what you need to work on the next bullet is the context look at the surrounding cards what supports the card in question and what distracts it from it so if you're doing a three card spread you could either interpret them interpret them with those um two cards or those three cards or as people like to do it with like the oracle cards people like to do tarot readings with oracle cards like they'll put one oracle card in front like as the theme of the today's reading or the theme of a situation and you look at those surrounding cards you look at the themes and what what detracts it from it from this specific reversal card like what what is this trying to tell you you know you have to really dissect it it's a lot of work the next bullet is the position is a reverse card in a position that indicates the past or future so let's say you're doing a past present future spread um like does it say something like is it saying something about your future is it saying something about your past maybe you're stuck let's say like your uh your present is reversed or your past is reversed just trying to tell you that okay maybe you're stuck in that past maybe there's something in your past that you're still not over with or something that you need to work on maybe something in your present life that you need to work on in order to get to your future or to get to where you want to be those two blockages or that one blockage is stopping from where you want to be in your future and then the last bullet is suits is there a dominant suit in the reading what might that say about the reverse card i'm not really sure what that means um if you know um you could like tell me because like I said, like I'm still learning and I'm still like very new to this whole tarot reading thing. Maybe you guys can help me know, um, can tell me what that really means. Like I said, I'm just trying to understand it and like get used to it. So when people ask me like, do I do readings? Uh, I done a reading on my mom. I'll sometimes do it on her, but I have not done it on anybody else. I'll probably try to see if like, I don't know, like just to try it out. But I've never um, fully done readings on other people. I could if I want to, but I just don't feel there yet, I guess. You don't have to be there yet. You can do readings on literally anybody. But if like you feel like you could do it, if you're very positive about doing it. Like, I personally don't do it yet because like, I don't want to do a reading on someone. And then like, they get mad at me and like, you know, they're just spaz out because nothing relates to them or they'll come at me and say you're not a you're not a real tarot reader or something because i'm not a real tarot reader because these are just the cards that happen to come up so maybe they are related to you you just have to dig deeper into it but like i said i feel like every card comes out for a reason and like you know that card was meant to to be there 
but yeah that's how um i use my tarot cards um i love my tarot cards before to use my oracle card deck and i love my oracle card deck that's what i first started off with and that's what honestly every person that's very interested in the spiritual journey and like just wants to know more about tarot reading and tarot decks i feel like you should really start with the oracle deck first like i've researched and like heard before this is my oracle deck and like oracle decks are co like completely opposite from tarot decks but not so opposite they're more um not as structured and they're very free-flowing so when you get like um a card let's say you want to do one card reading three card readings like the same spreads like you want to do with uh, your tarot decks this was my last week card every week i'll do i'll do a card reading with my, my oracle card um deck and i'll ask goddess dream which is her name or my spirit guide i'll be like what do i need to know for this week and i'll pick out i'll shuffle my cards and just ask that question repeatedly in my head what do i need to know for this week goddess dream spirit guides what do i need to know for this week and then i'll pick out the card and then they'll say like like last week said it said bravery and then i'll have like um a sentence or a paragraph and it'll say like this one said bravery explore your inner wild places you'll look at the image and you'll see the symbols what like what does it say what are the pictures what are the images and then it'll have a number next to it and then you'll look at the book that it comes with because each oracle deck comes with a book and if it doesn't you can have access to online sometimes they'll have like a digital version of it so it'll come like a like a booklet like the same thing like the tarot cards come with so they'll add, they'll have an introductory how to use the cards and then sometimes they'll have spread ideas and all that good jams it had the number five next to it so i would go check to see on the left side corner number five and then go to the page number 18 and it will give you literally yeah, they'll come like with the meaning behind that card and like using your notebook whatever spread you're doing that day or whatever card you get that day you just jot down notes on it what you pick up from this reading and after each um reading it will come with an affirmation on the bottom of it and you can just say that affirmation three times and just incorporate it every day until you have to do the next reading well this is just how i do it but the people will do it different ways sometimes i'll leave it out to where you could see it just remind yourself that this is what your spirit guides are telling you what you need to work on what you need to know for this week to keep um saying that you need to keep saying your affirmation that you need to keep working on this area this is what you need to know this is what you asked her for this is what you asked your spirit guides for but oracle cards are very general there's no form there's no structure you can literally use it to your own liking which is what i liked about it when i first got it because the, the answers were literally like straightforward and like, you didn't have to like dissect it really you didn't really have to like go into depth about it it literally just tells you the generalization of what you're asking for what the theme is for what you know whatever question your intentions you're asking that's your answer but like i said i literally just started this journey i'm still making my way um to get to where i want to be i guess um i'm definitely not a professional i literally just started this journey well i just started to incorporate um decks of cards into my journey into my spiritual journey and i'm loving every part of it i'm not a professional never said i was a professional um i'm just here to share with you guys what i've learned and how i use my cards since you guys asked me i know there's a lot of you guys that already do readings on yourself and want to know how i do it now this is just how i do readings on myself and sometimes I like how i do it on people um you guys could message me dm me if you have any questions about tarot decks oracle decks crystals just anything spiritual really but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for the next one